So Jake, I'm curious, do you feel like that people should just kind of swing their swing or should they try and model what is quote unquote a perfect swing? Because I feel like that's a big battle that a lot of players get into when they're trying to maybe break the, through that plateau to break 90 or break 80. Um, I am completely in 100% behind the um, idea that everyone should swing. Their- Leonard from Wicked Smart Golf. And today we're going to answer a question that I know you and probably every other golfer has thought at least once. Should you swing your swing or should you try and create the perfect swing? Now, this is a very, very interesting topic because I see so many golfers on the driving range constantly trying to change their swing, whether it's the takeaway, their grip, their downswing, their follow through, weight shift, I mean so many things. A lot of times I see people trying to make complete overhauls of their swing and I am guilty of this as well in the past. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes you do need to make some tweaks for consistency in your game, especially if you're trying to break 80 and even break par. But from one thing I found is that way too many golfers try and swing a swing that does not match their body type or does not match their natural instincts. So let's go and listen to what Jake Channing had to say on the podcast. Jake, I'm curious, do you feel like that people should just kind of swing their swing or should they try and model what is quote unquote a perfect swing? Because I feel like that's a big battle that a lot of players get into when they're trying to maybe break through that plateau to break 90 or break 80. I won my second ever college event. Oof, nice. Um, So that was, I don't know if that was good or bad. I still haven't decided. Um, Mm. It was good in the sense that it gave me confidence that I could win again. It was bad in the sense that it gave me confidence that I should win again. Mm. Because from there on out, I was like expecting it out of myself. I put so much internal pressure on myself to change my golf swing, to be better, to hit it further, to do all these things. And really since, I mean, the fall of 2016, after my freshman year ended to 2000 the beginning of 2019, I struggled hard. Um, I was, I lost my golf swing in the process. I completely tried to change everything. I went from playing a, a, you know, a straighter shot to, or a fade on my driver, especially to trying to hit a draw and come from the inside and release it. And that is something that I've never done in my whole life. Um, so yeah, I lost my golf game. And then in the process of that, I also lost my chipping as well. Um, I got very scared to hit chips around the greens. Um, very tentative. Uh, no one knew that, but me, of course, but, um, yeah. Um, so it was a long journey, but I'm very thankful that those things happened. Um, because it made me, you know, I think it, it really molded me into not only a better golfer, but a better person as well. Um, and I was fortunate enough to win um, twice in college and um, played in the 2019 NCAA regionals as an individual up in Pullman, Washington. That was an mm-hmm. unbelievable experience to, to be to play and then, you know, at the second highest level in college, you know, just right below playing in the national championship. I mean, that was, that was something I'll never forget for sure. So yeah, I mean, to be, to be completely honest and truthful, I definitely struggled. Um, but you know, no one really knew that besides me and, you know, the people around me, but definitely propelled me to go back to what I knew and what I had always been taught and believed in. So yeah, well, thanks for sharing. I mean, I, I think a lot of golfers can relate. We all we all try and internalize it, I think, and act like everything's always good. And uh, it, it's a tough game. I mean, if Tiger has developed the the yips at one point when he was chipping, I remember here at the uh, uh, whatever the waste management. I can't remember what year it was. Like, oh my god! Like, if this guy can struggle with golf, then it, well, none of us are safe. Right. Yeah. I and mean, uh, <laughs> even on the ropes for a while. So yeah. So I mean, don't beat yourself up. Obviously, you came through it. Uh, you've you're better than ever. Um, I am completely in 100% behind the, um, idea that everyone should swing their own swing. Um, whether what, whatever, you know, they were taught growing up or whatever felt natural to them, because, you know, like I just discussed personally, I lost my golf swing trying to change my swing because of certain things that I didn't like in it. And ultimately it set me back, you know, a year or so, or whatever it was, two years. So, I, I'm totally for everyone swinging whatever feels natural to them. And at the end of the day, that's, that's w- what matters is getting the ball in the hole. It's not about how pretty it looks or however, you know, how pretty it feels to, 
to, you know, the person swinging it. So. Yeah, no, I love that, man. I think that it's just, it's easier to, I think that like when you swing your swing, I think I'm finally figuring that out too, is I was trying to chase this more inside move, like you were talking about. And, uh, it's like, yeah, I could probably always get in a little bit better position, but it's like, at the same time, when you know your swing, you can fix your swing. And so it kind of helps if mid round, all of a sudden you start hitting some bad shots. You're not like thinking, Oh, I wish I could ask my coach this or that. It's like, you kind of have a little more insight and it forces you to, to kind of figure it out. Would you agree with that? Yeah. I mean, definitely. I just played in a tournament, um, last week, the desert financial open at talking sticks, yeah. talking stick, the Scottsdale open and, um, hit it great. The first two days in the final round, um, was hitting it fine. And then hit a few shots that are my normal miss with my fade. I started missing them. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, since I've known my swing for, you know, multiple years now, especially since I gave up trying to do everything else, I know exactly why I'm hitting it. Right. And I'm like, okay. So then the next swing I was able to, and from there on out, I was able to make that adjustment and not continue to miss it right the whole round. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. You got to adapt. I mean, you're out there for four to six hours sometimes on those slow rounds. So it's like you got you're your uh, own worst enemy or best friend out there. Hopefully you enjoyed that clip from Jake on the Wicked Smart Golf Podcast. Again, he had a great 45 minute conversation with me and highly recommend you listen to the full interview. The links are going to be down below to listen to it on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. At the end of the day, I completely agree with Jake and think that you should swing your swing. If you're constantly trying to change your swing, you're gonna be in your head too much. You're gonna be having all these thoughts on the golf course and you're gonna be worried about mechanics and trying to play your golf swing versus playing golf. Now again, there are some times where you need to make some little tweaks here and there to get the most out of your game, but never forget that changing your swing doesn't necessarily mean you will shoot lower scores. A big part of playing your best golf and becoming a consistent golfer comes down to what you do inside 125 yards. Now inside Wicked Smart Golf, I provide 111 ways to play better without changing your swing. So make sure to take a look at that. It's available on Amazon and really goes into detail about course management, mental game, and becoming a wedge wizard in the short game arena. Even the guys with the most beautiful swings out there don't always win on tour. Figuring out how to get the ball in the hole even on your off ball striking days and this book will absolutely help. So again, make sure you are swinging your swing so you can go out there and trust it on the golf course and shoot your lowest scores. Thanks again for watching and as always, I hope you have an epic day on the links.